Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm Brandon and today we are going to be looking at which options you should get for a 2023-2024 Leisure Travel Van Unity. Now then, a few years ago I made a video about this, but Leisure Travel Vans has added some things, added some options. So we're going to take a look at what I think you should get and what you should leave off your list. Save a little bit of money. Now then, if you're looking for a wonder, then that will be a later video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell that will tell you when that video comes out. But today we are going to take a look at the Unity options and see exactly where the value is. And again, what's changed since I bought when we bought our 2020 uh, Unity FX and what has improved and what I think you should get. So let's jump over to the Leisure Travel Vans website and take a look right now. Okay, before we get into it, this video is brought to you by Snap Pads. Now, Snap Pads, one of the very first things that we did to both our leisure travel van as well as to our Airstream Globetrotter. Now, on our Airstream, we have the stabilizer system, and on our leisure travel van, we have the leveling system. And so, Snap Pads are like permanently mounted shoes for those metal feet of those stabilizers and levelers. So you never want to be without them. No more crawling under your coach trying to put those little orange plastic blocks or pieces of wood underneath there, right? And so going to be so much better. So if you want to get snap pads for your RV, be sure you use the code PAGOSA10 to save 10% off and you can get those in the link in the description below or go to pagosasupply.co where you will also find this information as well. Now on with the video. All right, here we are at leisurevans.com. So let's jump in and build this Unity. So you can explore it or you can build it. We're just going to jump right into build. If you want to see explore, I suggest going and look at some videos or jumping on the website yourself. But anyway, so first of all, what you've got to do so you, if you're in the United States and you don't want to get a heart attack is you have to look at this right now. It is in Canadian dollars. So just jump down here switch over to usd if you're in canada then of course you'll want it in the canadian dollars so there you can see the you just got a huge discount just by pushing one button on here anyway so let's go in let's build out this murphy bed lounge because like i said in a previous video i do believe that this is going to be our next floor plan of a leisure travel van um, and so let's go ahead and build it so we're going to jump over to the exterior now then, I am a sucker for blue. Our FX, our 2020 FX is denim. They changed that to Atlantic blue not long ago, which all that means is they changed the, this is white now, whereas ours is silver. Uh, I have seen this in person and it is beautiful as well. Gonna jump over to cabinetry. Now then, one of the things that I wanted to see uh, it was this brand new uh, color scheme that they brought out last year. Whenever I, we purchased our leisure travel van, it, there was uh, still had the older uh, the colors, and ours is espresso, which is that dark wood, uh, and they actually changed that here to mocha. But anyway, uh, so I have seen all of these colors in person, the white oak, the rift oak, and then of course the mocha. Uh, I will tell you my personal preference is rift oak. It has a little bit more of a depth. This white oak is very, I mean, it is very white and very open. However, to give yourself a little bit of depth, I do like that rift oak. Um, I'm, I would pass on the, on the mocha this time just because, um, these colors are so nice. We chose uh, the espresso because it was the lesser of the evils in in our uh, taste. Um, and so, but we would go Rift Oak this time. So as you can see, you can choose that. No different cost upgrades at all is included. Cabinetry upgrade. I do highly recommend this Bianco White. Now it's $770, but it really, really breaks up uh, the monotony of the wood. Um, and so unless you just really like all of that wood, I really suggest doing that, especially if you get that darker mocha, you would definitely want that option. This is $770. Now we're gonna go over to countertops. Um, and so there are two different uh, colors, concrete, which is a little bit of a, obviously a gray. Now I have seen these in person. Uh, this has a little bit of movement in it. Um, I don't think it looks great with all of the different color schemes. I think the concrete probably looks best with that white oak. I'm a big fan of just the Antarctica because it is white. And so I do believe that is the best for us. And again, no charges for the different options there. 
All right, then we jump over to upholstery. Uh, th they call this Dove now. Uh, whenever we got ours, it was called a Fog. And then, of course, there's Sand, and then there's Clay. I will say if you get Dove, if you have dogs, beware, because it is basically white. So I would choose Sand going the second time around. Um, now let's jump over to the options. This is where it gets expensive. Uh, so the Sprinter chassis uh, upgrades, everything is included. There's nothing you can add on to that chassis, uh, adaptive cruise control, uh, all of that good stuff comes with the Unity, the way that Leisure Travel Van orders them. And then of course you have the Truman Aqua Go, which is fantastic. Uh, all of this is included. You get this wine guard, whether you like it or not. Um, now, I only use this for the HDTV antenna inside. I do not use any of the extender or the 4G LTE. Uh, it's very difficult to use, um, and I have other options. You can check out our videos if you want to see the other options. And then, of course, all of this good stuff. Now, we added in that $770 overhead cabinet door upgrade. Now then, this is one of the biggest things where we had, I had a little bit of trouble paying. It wasn't $3,000, like $2,500 whenever I ordered, which is this Alcoa Duro Bright Aluminum Wheels. I will say it is definitely worth the money. I do think it's going to help in resale. It definitely makes your coach look like it's a uh, $200,000 coach. If you get the steel wheels, it does have hubcaps. Those things can fly off. I would say spring for the 3000 bucks here for the aluminum wheels now then this is one of the new things that they have brought into uh, this year is this outdoor TV and so I think I would get it in fact whenever I was uh, at the Florida uh, uh, Super Show I got to see this in person it's very well done now if you don't get the TV in this MBL model they still do put this cabinet here it's just storage uh, but for $1,240 I mean, it's probably a $400 TV that you're talking about in there, and they're charging $1,200, but it does have a sound bar as well. So anyway, I personally think uh, it's it's fantastic because it gives you another living area uh, for a small RV, which is outdoors. So I do think that I would choose that. Now then, the exterior ladder, we did not choose this first time around, and I definitely would. So if you saw my video where I locked ourselves out of the LTV one time, but I left the top uh, skylight open, I did not have a ladder to get up top, and so I had to borrow a neighbor's uh, ladder that he happened to have with him in his big Class A. Very fortunate there, so I was able to, uh, to climb up and get that, but now I would definitely use this exterior ladder for several reasons. Uh, Janet and I like to work out as well. This is something that you could put some bands on. You could actually use it for a little bit of a workout as well. So I definitely would choose the exterior ladder these days. So we'll add that exterior table. I'm personally not a fan of this exterior table, especially at $550. I do think that uh, we have a like a $60 uh, option that just doesn't attach to the, the side of the LTV. It's just, it's metal. Um, it's made by Coleman, 60 bucks on Amazon, and it rolls up way, way smaller than this. Um, so I personally do not like this option. Some people say they can't live without it, so go for it. Now then, here's the big boys, the Onan diesel generator. Now, in a wonder, you don't have these two selections. You can't choose these selections. You have a gas generator only, and it's standard. Anyway, so $8,700 for a diesel or basically half price for the propane. I have the diesel. But if I were to do it all over again, I would do the propane and save half the money because we really do not use our generator. We have a really nice Lithionics uh, battery bank that it powers our coach when we need to, even the air conditioner. So I don't really need the generator at all times, but it is handy to have. So I would just go with this $4,800 propane version. Now, $3,000 for jacks. 100% add that. You will love it. Um, now, ours, we we have had something break on our jacks right after we got the coach. We did have, uh, let me get that off of there so you can see this. So we did have one of these hydraulic levels um, busted, and we have a hydraulic fluid that flew, uh, that, that busted out, uh, but it was covered under warranty, and so it was no big deal getting that fixed. So uh, I do say get the leveling jacks. That is a huge benefit. It levels you out, it stabilizes it, would not go without it. 
Now then, everybody's thinking lithium, lithium, lithium. $4,130 for 200 amp hours of lithium. Well, if you do any research at all, you know that 200 amp hours of lithium with this Dragonfly's other company that is the consumer base called Battleborn is about $2,000 worth of lithium. Now this does have a heater in it, so that's a little bit of an upgrade over basic Battleborn. However, I just think it is way too much money. Again, we have a Lithionix, so for, you know, basically, the, I mean, this is about $20 per amp hour, $21 per amp hour. A Lithionix 320 with a built-in heater that it doesn't require you to hit a switch. Uh, it's automatic using the BMS, and so you're not going to have human error. That's going to damage your batteries if you forget to turn the heater on if you need to. Uh, the Lithionics also has Bluetooth built in, so you don't need a smart shunt because you, if you want to see what's going on with these batteries, you have to add a smart shunt, which is about $130, $140. So anyway, I say only get this if you just want right out. You don't want to deal with any type of swapping batteries out once you get your coach. But again, you're going to be paying double what they're actually worth. But for the convenience factor, you may go for it. But if you want true freedom, look at the Lithionics 320. Upgrade your inverter to a 3000 watt inverter. Then you can run your air conditioner. You can run your hair dryer. You can run just basically everything that you possibly can think of without any worry at all. All right, so another thing, the macerator. So we're gonna leave, I'm leave, I would leave lithium battery off and just put a Lithionics 320 in. Now then, uh, macerator, I did not get the macerator and I'm still happy I did not get the macerator first off for a thousand bucks. Some people swear by it. If you have one, I have never heard anybody said they regret it, except for the people who leave the uh, the cap on and turn the button on, uh, and then it becomes a massive mess. Uh, also, this has the ability to break. And this is just something I don't want breaking to have to deal with because the black tank just let gravity do its work. Um, and so there's only been one time in um, two and a half years of RVing with a leisure travel van that I wished I had a macerator, uh, but it just simply made me pull my coach to a different site to dump where gravity actually worked instead of going uphill. But this will pump uphill as well. But me personally, I don't want a macerator. All right, remote key fob. Yes, I definitely want this remote key fob. It's only failed me once, and that was when I was talking about we locked ourselves out uh, of the coach. Um, and so the easiest way to do that is just put an extra set of keys in, in a lock box in a, in a storage bay. Anyway, so this is so handy. I lock and unlock my, my house door with this. Uh, I don't have to carry my keys and, and around with me as far as all of the, the, the set of all the, the different keys that comes with the LTV. Yes, definitely remote key fob. Um, in my previous video where I discussed options, I said I wished I wouldn't have got this, uh, but that was before I really started using it. 100% uh, would get this now. This is a fantastic option, uh, $420, well worth it. This pops right out, this pops right out and stores in one of your cabinets, but when you want it, it is there. We love that removable table. All right, safe. Well, it broke on me and right after warranty, uh, not my two year warranty, but my one year warranty. These things, the third party systems, anything that Leisure Travel Van does not build, like the safe, is a one year warranty. Um, and so ours, uh, we it stopped working, the key that were the, the keypad stopped working. Um, I took it in to get it, look, get it fixed is basically unfixable and replaceable because I had gone past my one year warranty. So now you have to use the key right here uh, for $460. It's nice to have a safe. We keep some cash in there, you know, not a lot, but just something just to, uh, to keep in there. So, I mean, it's nice to have, it's up to you whether you want that or not. I think I would still get it because again, I like to, you know, just have a few things in there. If somebody did break in, it'd be hard for them to really break into that. All right, satellite dish, 100% no. This is a no, $2,150. It's mounted to the top of your roof. Therefore, you can't be under any trees to use it. So if you really like satellite TV, I would suggest like a $500 uh, King dish network system that is portable and you put it outside the coach. So if you are parked under trees, you can take it and you can put it outside from under the trees. Uh, this seems like a massive waste of money uh, to me. Anyway, we watch television through our internet anyway. Um, and so I think there's so many better options than this right here. I just personally would not do it. All right, solar panels. 
greatly improved solar panels from whenever I purchased. We have the the flex panels that are glued to the roof, um, and eventually those have a three, four, five year lifespan if they don't catch on fire. So, but these much, much better. So kudos to Leisure Travel Van for making these a better option. These are rigid panels. Um, I would go ahead and get the 400 watts. Now, $3,400 it's expensive solar panels of this quality and this quantity you're probably looking at under a thousand dollars in actual cost but then you got to get somebody to attach them to your roof and then you can mess with your roof warranty all kinds of things i'd rather just spend the money let leisure travel vans do it and that way if something were to happen to your roof and leak or something they couldn't blame it on your solar panels so I would just go ahead and, and get that. So that's basically the options that I would get. And where are we at? We're at $206,000. Are you kidding me for a leisure travel van? Holy moly, that's literally $50,000 more than I paid for my totally decked out leisure travel van that I got just two and a half years ago. Now then, let's see if that if we just added every option, what that would do. Let's say if we went with the diesel generator. So let's remove the 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 propane. Let's add the uh, diesel. Let's add in those $4,000 worth of uh, batteries. Let's add that macerator. And let's add that satellite dish. Oh my gosh. $217,000. Uh, no, let's go back. Let's, let's, let's change this off. Let's take that off. Let's take that off and let's take that off. Let's go back down to $206,000. Uh, so anyway, base model of that MBL 188, $770 for that Blanco white upgrade. I think they call it a Fenix cabinet. And then we have $17,000 worth of options, bring us $206,000. So put your comments down below. What would you leave on? What would you take off? Uh, what would you add that I didn't? Do you agree with me about the lithium batteries, about the macerator, all of those things? So put those comments down below. All right, what'd you think? What would you leave on? What would you leave off of my list? Put those comments down below. And again, if you're looking for options for a wonder, that video will be out soon as well. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That will let you know when that video comes out. But until then, we will see you next time.